Hello and welcome back everybody to this little lecture series on functional analysis. Today we are going to look at another one of the four major principles of the subject. And this one is called the closed graph theorem. So consider the following. We have two Banach spaces x and y and a closed linear operator t which is defined on a subset d of t of x and goes to y. And then the theorem says the following. If this subset d of t is closed then the operator t is bounded. So now let's look at the proof. What we'll do first is show that x cross y is complete. So let's consider a Cauchy sequence. Let's call it z of n. This is really a sequence xn, yn. And we have to show that this Cauchy sequence converges to a point in our space x cross y to show that the space is complete as usual. So what does it mean that, that it is Cauchy? It means that for every epsilon we can find an n such that the norm of the difference z of small n minus z of small m, which is by definition of the norm on x cross y, the norm of xn minus xm plus the norm of yn minus ym and as I said we know that we can find an n such that this expression is smaller than epsilon for every epsilon. Now x and y are Banach spaces and these two expressions, this one and this one, are Cauchy sequences in x and y respectively, so that they converge to points x and y. And then of course we see that our Cauchy sequence z of n in x cross y converges to a point x cross y. And this shows that x cross y is complete. Now, by assumption, the graph of t is closed because, as we said, t is a closed linear operator. And this means exactly that the graph of t is closed. And as we now know, x cross y is complete. So g of t is a closed subset of a complete space and thus it is complete itself. And of course d of t is complete for the same reason, being a closed subset of a complete space, because we said x is a Banach space and we assumed that d of t is closed in x. And by the open mapping theorem, we know that the inverse of a bounded linear operator between 
Banach spaces is yes, itself bounded. So P inverse is bounded. Let's say the norm of x tx is smaller than some b for every x. This is just what it means that the inverse of p is bounded. And we can now use this fact to show that our operator t is in fact bounded because the norm t of x is of course smaller than the norm tx plus the norm of x which is the norm of x tx which is by what we have just said smaller than b the, i mean the norm of b times the norm of x and this is so for every x and so we are finished we have shown that the operator t is bounded <coughs> yes that's it for this lecture i hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe to the channel we have more coming also in german of course um, yeah, thanks for watching and see you soon.